This video will introduce you to virtual mosaics, otherwise known as mosaic datasets, within ArcGIS. Virtual mosaics are great in these situations where we have multiple individual raster tiles and we want to manage them as a single consistent mosaic. And we can do this without actually having to generate a new raster. As you can see in this particular example, I have a number of individual image tiles, and to apply the same symbology to each one of these tiles is cumbersome and difficult. In a mosaic dataset, all the input rasters are treated as a virtual mosaic that I can apply consistent symbology and analysis functions. A mosaic dataset is stored within a geodatabase. So the first step is to right click on your geodatabase, go to New, and create a new mosaic dataset. When you create the mosaic dataset, all you're going to do is specify the mosaic dataset name along with some parameters. Setting these parameters correctly requires that you know something about your input rasters. For example, you want your coordinate system to generally match your rasters, and you'll want your product definition to be appropriate for the particular datasets you're loading into the Mosaic dataset. I have four band aerial imagery, and thus the visible infrared product definition is appropriate. Under the product properties, I do have the option to adjust some of the parameters if I see a need to. And then finally, under the pixel properties, I want to set the appropriate pixel type. My data are unsigned 8-bit, and recall at any time, if you're in doubt, you can right-click of the properties of your input rasters and go into the properties section and have a look at the source information there to confirm the raster information properties. When you click Run, the geoprocessing tool generates a new mosaic dataset within your geodatabase. This is empty at this time and contains no data. The three components of the mosaic dataset, the boundary, the footprint, and the image data, appear in the table of contents. Now it's time to populate our mosaic dataset with our source rasters. We'll go to our mosaic dataset, right click on it, and choose Add Rasters. This will launch the Add Rasters to Mosaic Dataset dialog. I'm not working with a particular sensor, so I don't need to adjust the raster type in this particular case, nor do I need to adjust the processing template. However, I am going to change the input data from file to a folder, as all my image tiles are located within a single folder. I'm going to navigate to the folder containing my image tiles, select that folder, and then click OK to populate that parameter. As you scroll down, you'll notice that there are a number of other parameters that can be set. These are optional, and please note that some of them, such as calculating statistics and building overviews, can be done after you've added rasters to your Mosaic dataset. Running the geoprocessing tool populates the Mosaic dataset with the rasters. Important to keep in mind, no data are actually being copied to a new location. These are just virtual pointers back to the original tiles. Now that our Mosaic dataset has been populated with rasters, we can display both the boundary, which is the full extent of the rasters, and the individual footprint, which are the locations of each and every single one of those image tiles. Clicking on a footprint feature will display the attribute information, which includes the tile name and other associated attributes. Turning on the boundary allows us to view the full extent of all the tiles within our Mosaic dataset. As we zoom in, the actual image data becomes available. It's important to note that without overviews, which we'll build later, the image data is not displayed until we zoom into the appropriate resolution. You'll notice that as we zoom and pan throughout this Mosaic dataset, even as we cross tile boundaries, the collection of rasters are treated as a single raster mosaic. In order to see our raster data at all scales, we'll have to build overviews. We'll go back into the Mosaic dataset, right-click, go to Optimize, and then choose Build Overviews. This launches the Build Overviews Geoprocessing tool. There are no parameters that need adjusting for the Build Overviews Geoprocessing tool, so we'll simply click Run, and this will generate the overviews for our Mosaic dataset. Now you can see that as we zoom in and out, the imagery are available at all scales. Because our mosaic dataset treats all our rasters as a single virtual mosaic, any modifications we make to the appearance affect all the rasters within that dataset consistently. Here I am adjusting the stretch type, and as you can see, it's applied across all the individual tiles, but they're treated as a single consistent mosaic. I can even do this with band combinations. Changing the band combinations from natural color to color infrared changes the band combinations for my entire mosaic dataset, not just each individual raster. Raster analysis functions work the same way as symbology. I can apply a raster analysis function, and it'll work across the entire mosaic dataset, treating it as a single composite raster. So here I am going into the Analysis tab, and I'm going to launch a raster function, and I'm going to compute NDVI, the Normalized Difference Vegetation Index, for my entire Mosaic dataset. 
I'm choosing the NDVI colorized raster function. I'm choosing my mosaic data set as the input. I'm adjusting the parameters, specifically selecting the appropriate visible and infrared band, and then I'm creating a new layer. Benefits of using a raster data set in combination with a raster function in this case means that I can compute NDVI over a large collection of rasters much faster than if I was generating a brand new mosaic individual data set and then using an NDVI geoprocessing tool. I haven't created any new data in this case. My mosaic and my NDVI are entirely virtual. If you need to work with your Mosaic dataset outside of ArcGIS in another software package, you can simply right-click on your Mosaic dataset, choose Data, Export Raster. This will open the Export Raster Geoprocessing tool, where you can select the appropriate format and location for your output raster dataset. Mosaic datasets are a great way for working with large collections of image tiles when you want to apply symbology or raster functions seamlessly across all of those raster datasets.